Hey guys, welcome to August here on Comlands 200 horsepower challenge. We'll talk more about that in a second. We want to get this day off right. Let's uh, get a worker and send him up to sell this pig food. We're gonna have to fund quite a bit today. If you see, we're starting with $767,000 and uh, we're gonna need all of that plus whatever else we can generate here. So while this guy's off on his way to make us some money, uh, man, <laughs> I've just watched our our fleet uh, become disgusting over this period. <laughs> so, so it's time to clean our, it's time to give ourselves the option, uh, opportunity anyways to clean up. So uh, we're gonna put a wash bay in here and uh, I mean, essentially it's just a pad with a drainage and, uh, and a, a pressure washer. Um, we'll add, uh, you know, a few creature comforts here, some safety. I don't want to go off the cliff into that puddle. Let's plunk these down. Couldn't put a fence down here. That's what I really wanted to do, but there's something uh, something getting in its way that wouldn't allow me to do that. So we'll put these little guards down. I, I, I highly doubt I'll ever hit them, but, you know, anything's possible. Got to get some good lighting in here. Yeah, this just makes me feel better knowing that uh, knowing we can finally clean our equipment. We're getting some nice stuff now too, actually. Um, not in this episode, but I think in the next episode we're gonna do a, uh, a probably a bit of a gear review and uh, pull everything out and kind of get an idea of where we're at. Roughly, well, actually, this is August, right? So don't we start in August? So we've gone two full years as of this episode. This is episode twenty-two. We did skip. Uh, we did skip a couple months where where there was a little less going on. Um, one, I think we merged into the other month. So, I mean, essentially this should be, yeah, I, I, that's exactly right. I think this is, this should, should in essence have been the 24th episode, uh, with two skip months makes it the 22nd. And this is us now rolling into, into our third year of business here in, uh, in the area. So man, look at that. That's what these things needed. They needed to be cleaned off. So we're not going to talk about the, uh, harvester that's parked back there. Um, I'm almost certain that we haven't introduced that yet. Uh, we're not going to talk about the headers that are peeking around the corner. Uh, that'll all come in time. Uh, I just, I had some money that was burning a hole in my pocket, so we spent we spent some money. But I do like the uh, I do like the way these two tractors go together. So what else are you going to do, right? You got to park them. You got to clean them up and park them next to each other, so you can sort of admire. I, I would if this was uh, if this was my farm in real life, I would do this probably daily. Those beasts. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be running a lot of equipment through this wash bay um, as the day goes on here. Uh, we're going to get dirty. This is going to be a long, long day, I'll tell you that much. This is going to be condensed from about four and a half hours of recording. All right. Um... I send the worker up here. I got to, I, I, so I, I think I now uh, have an idea of what, what I've been doing wrong, why the workers won't sell up here. So uh, we're going to uh, probably fix that in a soon to be, soon to be produced episode, I guess. All right. Uh, so on a strong suggestion, man, I'm drawing total blanks. I didn't take any notes. Actually, you know what? I guess in all fairness, there was a few people that told me to, to, told me about this uh, slurry yard, but I want to say Jack Sarge farming slash painting <laughs> was was perhaps one of the first people to mention this. I think so. Sorry if I'm wrong there, but <clears throat> anyways, uh, this this is going to be. Uh, oh man, why did I never know about this? Although I never, this is the first time I ever placed a BGA in my entire farming simulator career. Uh, so I guess in all fairness, I never really would have maybe needed this cause I never would have had to sell, um, uh, it's not the, the digestate. Uh, I think I more or less would use the digestate in the past, but screw using it when you can make as much money as this thing's going to pay us. This is going to make an appearance in another one of our playthroughs also. Let's get that tidied up. Yeah, check this out. Where is it? Uh, okay, right there. Digestate. $3,672 is the current value per thousand liters compared to $185 at the sell everything container. Like, what is that? Unbelievable. What an opportunity. So 
but we're gonna get a uh, we're gonna get a worker spinning a few laps here. Uh, I absolutely love what auto drive and course play has done. Uh, now, I think I mentioned this is melted down from about four and a half hours of recording time. The amount of work that we're gonna get done today, the things that we're gonna build today, this is like, and to get all this done in a one one day month is crazy. Uh, I felt like now. I know I'm sure there's people who've done a lot more, but in my standards, uh, this is massive. Like, we have buildings that are going to go in. We have fields that are going to get purchased, uh, like property, and then with that, we're going to be making fields. Uh, we have there's just so much that's going to happen in these episodes. You really got to kind of hang on and bear with me, which which will also mean a bit of jumping around, bouncing around as we, uh, you know, obviously right there got a worker started on his job, and now we're over here cleaning a tractor right so there's going to be some bouncing around as we do this but i think in the end you'll be uh, you'll be impressed with how much stuff we get done today it's funny i think this is the first time this tractor has seen water since we got it so we'll jam that trailer away those trailers need to be cleaned the do the uh daisy chain one there The, uh, I might have mentioned this last episode, but um, it's, it's seeming like the cows are starting to produce at a higher, uh, at a faster volume now, uh, which is good. Like, it just seems like they're producing more milk each time. <clears throat> but we don't necessarily have more cows. I mean, we did we did bump up our, our population at one point there, but um, it just it just seems like we're getting more, which I'm not complaining. I'll give you a little a little spoiler those cows will have a uh while well, they won't be moving into their new home uh they have a, a new future home coming and uh i'm pretty excited about it so we're just getting everything topped up here uh the bakery i wanted to go there first because it needed only a little bit to get topped up and then uh and then we're going to put the rest into the uh the cookie factory over here i'm a little worried about the bakery that is not keeping up with uh with everything so we may we may want to look at another bakery, perhaps, like a, an additional bakery. Yeah, we're up to we're up to nine hundred and forty four thousand dollars so far. <laughs> we've 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 gained an extra two hundred thousand dollars. What were we seven hundred and forty when we started? It's fantastic. The uh, uh, they have be, I've been having the problem where the workers aren't. <clears throat> I've been having a problem where the workers aren't selling when they get to, uh, for example, the animal feed area or the um, the co-op and and uh, geez, was it Farmer Mike who told me was it you Farmer Mike or was it Jack Sarge or was it I'm brutal anyway sorry um, there's a collision setting. That, uh, that basically I just winged it. When I went into all the settings for uh, auto drive, I just kind of tried to use my best judgment and obviously it wasn't good. <laughs> so I think I, I haven't changed the setting yet, but I will. Man, look at this, it's like the day we took delivery of this thing. It's like brand new. There's nothing, like the, the, the dirt on the yellow was making this tractor just look disgusting. Looks nice now. You may be questioning my uh, decision to wash this tractor before uh, hitting the, a solid day of mowing and you know what I was questioning the same thing this tractor is going to be disgusting by the end of the day we have a lot to mow we have this field obviously to mow and then uh, we're going to be adding we're going to be adding more property um, I know I said at one point oh, you know I can't see wanting to own anything other than just this side of the uh, the river but we're uh, we're expanding, folks, and uh, that's all thanks to what Auto Drive and Course Play has done for me to free up uh, to free me up. Now everybody's getting a turn on the wash bay here. This uh, I forgot how nice the color is on this tractor actually until you get it in the sun and uh, and get it cleaned up. I don't even know how I found this tractor. 
it's a uh, it's been a good it's been sort of like one of those nice surprises um good power and and uh i don't know it seems it never struggles to pull everything basically so we're heading down here to uh f for for sort of f step one of our major major uh, overhaul here we're so we're across the river here if you uh if you can uh sort of understand where we are. Got a nice flat area right on the other side of the road here that uh, that I really think is is crying out for uh, for a new new building. So I, I found this um, modern cow building. I don't know, is it called Modern Cow Hall or whatever? It holds 150 cows. Uh, now we'll be able to produce slurry. Um, I, believe if, I believe if I put a manure pit down, we should be able to produce manure. I'm not sure what the straw pellet thing is, um, whether that's an input like that I'm supposed to be putting into uh, the enclosure or whether that's something I get out of it. I doubt I'll be getting it out, out of it, but... Wow, the place has a really cool layout. Um, I like those kind of, like, those are like mats, I guess, right? Like you would find in a large cow enclosure like this, so it's soft on the uh, soft on their hooves. Uh, so anyways, I like... My only gripe with this and i'm going to work with a contractor i think before the next episode is the capacity for food and straw uh, i want to say it's like less than fifty thousand liters uh, so when you get 150 cows in there and you can only put uh i want i mean it's like forty six thousand liters i believe of of food and the same for straw that's not enough at all so uh, i'm gonna work with a contractor um to get that to get that fixed up um i mean i'd like to I'd like to see it uh, at about 100,000, to be honest with you. This is going to save us. Now, we are switching over from, uh, I think I mentioned this last episode, if I'm not, uh, if, I, if, I, if I didn't, and I'm all an announcing it now, but we're moving to uh, hay feed and, and no longer going to be mixing. Um, so that means the, uh, the mixing building that we have, once it's out, it'll be out. We'll probably get rid of that building, but... Uh, I'm going to go to that and then I'm going to take all the silage and drive that into um, into the uh, the BGA, uh, which at some point we'll probably uh, find ourselves with an additional BGA also. Uh, so we can really start to ramp up the income, you know. So anyways, I like the way it turned out. I like the the I like that our, our farm and our house and everything is on the other side of the river there. Um, I like the fact that it's right on the river. We're down at this end of the of this field, so once we harvest the uh, the sunflowers, I'm going to expand the field right down to the to this area. All right, with my newfound skills, we're going to go and uh, set this guy up to take the grass off the field that we're mowing right now. Now that I'm a seasoned auto drive course play veteran, I can do these things. <laughs> Take the uh, we'll take the first load of hay over to the new cow barns. Um, wait, did I say cow barns? I meant cow barn, or did I? Uh, anyways, yeah. So we'll have to remember now. We've been putting everything into silage, so we'll have to remember to put stuff into the grass dryer now too. And actually, I think I have a good solution for that that uh, we will work through together. Um, try to make hay a little more convenient. Uh, to the feed. Um, there's a lot of real estate over on this side, uh, so if you can read between the lines, we will uh, likely be trying to take advantage of as much of it as possible. So, just testing. Um, this will be the first time I ever tried to unload with two trailers, uh, so I just was testing out the course there to see if it would work. Uh, some things that I do need to work on, though, um, like I run into issues later on with, uh, I think, primary and subsidiary routes uh, where the tractors keep trying to go down to sort of subsidiary routes and then maybe try to unload where they shouldn't be trying to unload. So that's that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, so I got to work on that. And then I have to understand one way versus two way routes better because I, I don't understand that yet. So I have a lot of work to do uh, when it comes to course play um or i guess that's auto drive uh so i will do the work and i will figure it out but as of right now it is creating some issues for me 
Yeah, see there, we're, we're not even 250,000 liters uh, and we're gonna wanna feed some cows. So we're definitely gonna wanna put some grass into this. I didn't, I didn't even at this point realize how uh, how small the capacity was for this building. So I, I kind of just could park these trailers here because I can't load any more in. And uh, now granted, we don't have any cows in there yet. Uh, they are coming here quickly. But, uh, but yeah, I, I didn't, uh, I really didn't anticipate the small capacities. Uh, I don't think it tells you when you're placing a building, I, I think you have to discover that afterwards, right? I don't think it actually tells you what, uh, what the capacity is going to be. It's more like a surprise. So there's 60 old cows right there. Go make us some milk there, ladies. That's a cool building, eh? With a little grass outside and then... I mean, they look, it looks, it's got like a nice open air feel to it. Uh, I have the fixed visual month set to July, so I won't feel bad if these guys are out here in the snow. Uh, or, sorry, they won't be in the snow, but if we were, have if we had snow turned on, then it wouldn't be so bad. But so do a little exploring just to see if there's anything else to this, but it seems all pretty straightforward. It's just a building that holds 150 cows. I thought we'd add a few more. I think we got up to like 90 by the time I'm done spending money. It's like when we set up the the cow pen on the other side and I, I put like what 10 in there or something. We gotta, you know, if we're gonna, if we're gonna wanna do this, we gotta go bigger, right? I do wanna leave some room for growth, but, uh, but anyways. So this, uh, this piece of land up here, I can't remember what field, uh, we're, I think it's going into, I'm trying to look at the mini map down there. I think we're going into field 19 now. Uh, so this is on the menu, uh, I wanna get, I basically I want this all to be a big grass field so we can just have it right next to our cows and I can basically just mow it. And then once I mow it, I can uh, put it into what will be a future grass drying operation on this side. Yeah, look at that. $164,000 later. Yeah, I want, it, I want it all to be nice and convenient and compact over there. So, so that'll be just a nice big grass field. I have this, the guy on this field here, I, I say that I gotta start putting some into uh, into the grass dryer, but uh, I might as well just, <laughs> I get greedy. So I'll just like, no, I wanna put it in here cause I'll get money. Uh, so I've been putting, putting all the grass that's coming off the field that we're mowing right now into uh, the fermenting silo on this side. And uh, I mean, I kind of alluded to it, but here's the other building. So we're gonna have capacity for 300 cows um, and, uh, these two buildings are going to kind of sit, sit opposite each other here. I, I like the way, I really like the way it looks. I like the fact that you can kind of look through and see the river and everything. Um, I really, I got to work on the roots though, cause I was having a lot of problems. So I, I ran with, uh, auto drive. I'd run it, you know, the, the tractor would come up the driveway and then I would try to run a lane right up the middle between the two sheds. And then I would try to run the feeding kind of break offs where they could go to the feeding points. Um, but the tractor, so the, the new, the new building I'm putting up there, uh, it kept, I go to set the driver to go fill that one, but it would fill the other one. So uh, I'm thinking that the milk, um, that extra little milk building there is useless because in the time I sort of let this run, I didn't see any milk end up in there. And I don't know if that's just only because overflow hits it or, or what, but I like the way it looks, but that's about it. Can't wait to dump this Claus forage wagon too. It's been great. I mean, it holds a decent amount. Anything can tow it. Uh, I mean, I'm using it with smaller tractors on another map, and uh, but it's just uh, I, I I really like the the newer forage wagon that we picked up. Um, so yeah, so I mean, the, it's uh, the Claus here. Its days are numbered. Uh, we'll probably just go with two of the exact same one that we already have. I think when I went and looked at all the forage wagons, it kind of gave us the most. Like the, the least amount of horsepower requirements, it was light enough at like six tons or something like that. And, uh, and it was reasonable, reasonably priced. Oh, a little bit of sunflowers there. Um, and it works well. We've now tested it out a bunch of times and it works really well. So this guy will be pulling all the grass off of the field that we're, we're mowing right now. And then, uh, and then he'll be putting grass into what'll be our newest uh, newest addition over here. 
And then, like I said, we'll just keep everything nice and convenient over here. It's fun when you build, like, a new area. It's kind of like having a new farm. Yeah, so I think this is more or less me manually. No, this is this is the worker, but I, I had to bypass. I just sort of, like, force bypass the other feeding uh, zone. Otherwise, it would just stop there. I think I might might run a lane around the back or something. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. But but uh, I don't like I don't like learning while I'm while I'm working. I'd like to kind of test things out first and then try it. But you know, it can't always be the case. So here's the grass dryer that's going to go that well that's gone in here. <coughs> yeah, it's good. So this this will be. Uh, I mean, obviously, well positioned compared to this the cows here. It would have sucked having to go across a river um, every time I needed to feed the cows. So this will this will keep us over here. I do, I feel I must feel a little bit liberated in uh, as soon as I made the decision to stop mixing food. Uh, it was kind of like uh, it was a little freeing. I'm like, you know, screw it. Let's put, we'll put hay in there and we'll just keep dumping as much as possible. I mean, it's not like we're not making money. We're making tons of money everywhere else, so I don't necessarily have to be greedy when it comes to the milk. Not to mention our, our productions aren't necessarily even keeping up with it, so. So this guy's done. We're gonna, we're gonna set him up. There's another, actually, if you can believe it, there's two more pieces of property that we're gonna purchase today. <laughs> so I gotta set that guy. He'll, we'll just park him off to the side because he's gonna have a bunch more uh, to mow as we go forward. But yeah, if you're keeping track, so far we've put two cow buildings. Uh, we've put a grass dryer in, we've bought a piece of property, and uh, yeah, I said it, there's a couple more pieces of property coming. So much is going to get done in this one day. <laughs> oh, God. So I was just checking to make sure this works. This was an interesting route uh, our worker took, but I guess maybe you just want to clean the wheels off, maybe? I mean, it works for me, as long as, it, uh, as long as they get the job done and they want to drive through the lake, that's fine. Uh, now, there's something else on course play that I gotta work. See how it's leaving the grass on the edge there? Uh, something with the way I think I set up the field, which I was off slightly. So I end up having to go around and clean up, uh, clean up the edges myself, which is a pain in the butt. Definitely not, not what I want to do, but... Couldn't, you know, it is what it is, right? I gotta go figure that out at some point, but... It's kind of fun to watch the tractor drive through our, drive through our compound here. Trying, excuse me, trying to get some straw so I can put that into the into the cow buildings, and uh, watching this guy try to carefully get their way into the uh, into the building there is hilarious. Now I didn't have the trigger set up right, so I didn't uh, I, I fiddled around for quite a while trying to fix it. So I just kind of jumped to when the, the trailers were already loaded, but uh, I'll get that to work. Uh, same as I mean, we got straw over here right now. Uh, we may want to move straw. Across the river, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. I wonder if I can set that. Oh, you know what? I guess if I had straw on this side of the river, uh, and then I sort of split it up and put. So if I had it over here for the animals, and then on the other side of the river, if I set it to distribute, I could probably have it feed the uh, straw processing. Yeah, like here's an example. I went to go set the worker to put the straw into the other building, but it caught it. It instead there's a there's a route right up the middle of these two barns, and instead it went to uh, it took the side route and then put man it topped it up. Obviously they needed it, but that wasn't what wasn't my original intention. And then and then here uh, this thing um, didn't even stop. It just kept on going. We'll be doing a lot of. Uh, jumping around to check on uh, there was a, in in business uh, in a previous industry I had a lot of uh, you know management training all that kind of stuff and one, one thing that everybody always uh, trained was uh, inspect what you expect so if you've communicated that you want something done ie here's a worker that I want to pick up grass you better be inspecting it periodically to make sure that it's actually getting done so we're using basic management principles here in uh, in our work with these uh, with these workers. <laughs> I 
Can't remember how much is in this silo, but we do uh, we do get a substantial amount throughout the day here. I mean, everywhere you look, there's somebody picking up grass right now. It's not very fast, but it's working. We're just gonna get this. Uh, we just want to get this sort of set up with the. Uh, I mean, it seems like we're always putting fertilizer into it, but we want to get it set up and, and staged across the way, so that way, as soon as uh, as soon as everything's done, we can get uh, get planting. It's a good combo, though. I like the way this the way this cedar looks on this uh, on this tractor. Only we can get this chunky boy through the, uh, through the, weave him through this tight, tight network of buildings so we can get the, get the stuff put in it. I'm really happy that I made the change from that, uh, air drill or whatever it was called before. The two trailers was not, uh, not fun. I, I think it looked cool, but it certainly was no fun for me at all. <laughs> Something like that, uh, will definitely, I mean, if I can find myself, uh, with some ambition and I try to attack some large fields on another map then uh, then I may have to look at something like that but for now we will stick to stuff like this which I like I mean I, I want to oh, did I say this is a six meter working with I think I said that I don't think it's nine which is enough right uh, sorry um, I don't know why I said the, so this is sorghum going into this grass field that's what it was we will be planting across the river too. Uh, this so moving our cow operations across uh, across the way there. Uh, kind of just I wanted to plant sorghum, so I finally just took this uh, as a direct direct drill, obviously, or whatever. Um, so I figured I'd just take this opportunity to go and put these seeds in the ground and let the sorghum grow over here. Um, I mean, there's the field that you just saw the, uh, across the river that we're mowing right now, and then when we buy the other property. That, uh, that we're gonna buy later on, I'll, I'll, there's a ne another grass field that we're gonna make. So we'll have plenty of grass, no, no worries there. And there you go, cows. So the worker fills I want to say oh you know what no yeah sorry they did because the capacity wasn't that great so I figured I'd just take the rest of the straw and we'll bring it back across the river and put it to work for us because again I think the capacity is like it's less than 50,000 liters not fantastic I figured we may as well turn this straw into a money maker for us Funny, this, this building has been a uh, sort of a low-key surprise f for me. <laughs> it's uh, It just continues to plug along. It seems like you're always at the best price for selling, and uh, and the money's good, so it's kind of one of those. I'm glad, I'm glad I put that in. I don't even know where I saw it. I think I saw it on a Farmer Klein video. Oh, maybe it was when the mod came out, I think. I wish I had. Uh, I wish I had thrown some water on this thing. <laughs> All right, don't look at the harvester. Despite the fact that that harvester looks like it's 800 horsepower, it's not. It's like 190 or something like that. It does have a 10,000 liter capacity though, which I'm really looking forward to. Remember when this was clean? Clean no more. I forget sometimes that I have uh, crop destruction on, so I'll go blitzing down a, a roadway like this. <laughs> and then it starts to dawn on me that if I have one little weird mistake, then uh, I'll end up shooting across 
a field and taking out a bunch of crops. The cornfield takes a bit of a hit at some point during this uh, this episode. Or was it the wheat field? I don't remember. Anyways, so 51, we want that field. And we want uh, we want that one 53 or whatever. I don't know which numbers we're using, but we basically want those two fields. So that way we can make, there's kind of an area there that's bordered by road and river, and it's going to make another massive grass field. So I got a rough idea how much we needed to make in order to do that. Uh, I've earmarked the grape juice and the cake as uh, as our way of getting there. So now it's just a matter of uh, loading up the uh, loading up the old trailer there and getting the stuff sold. I mean, we're down, we had, uh, we, what were we up? It was up $950,000 at one point, and now we're down to one fifty. We need, uh, I don't know that one fifty even buys one of those fields we want. Uh, so we are going to have to make some money. Thankfully, uh, we have, uh, you know, these productions that are that are going that at any given time, something is ripe and, and you can sell it. All right, we'll get these grape juice pallets spawned. I love this auto load uh, trailer where you just basically set it to load and then look, check this out. We change it to spawn. Actually, sorry, we're gonna change this to spawning and then we're gonna go over to cake and we're gonna change that to spawning. And by the time we pop back out of here, all of our work's done. The trailer was loaded. It was loading as, the, uh, as everything was spawning. So anyways, no more no more room at the end, can't fit any more on the trailer, so we're gonna head back up, uh, to, we'll head up to the co-op and get this load sold, and then we'll come back down. Oh, we'll head up. I'll send uh, I'll send this trailer up with somebody, and, uh, and then we'll just go up there and hit sell. <laughs> this, is, this looks exactly the way I pictured it when I planted these fields. I thought, how cool would that be if, uh, if we have these, this sort of this wall of sunflowers as we go, uh, as we go up there, it'd be pretty awesome. Anyway, I did mention we're gonna be checking in quite often, so I just wanna make sure this guy's actually still planting in the right field. I mean, I don't anticipate that he's just gonna go ripping across the map, um, but the, you know, the possibility is always there, right? So this worker's gonna take this only so far, and then we're gonna take over. But I will get that collision changed, and hopefully we should be uh, should be okay. Now, it's kind of nice to be there for the money, but then it's also nice just to see your bank account increasing, and uh, you didn't really have to do anything other than press some buttons. This stuff is worth a couple bucks. Yeah, there you go, hundred thousand bucks. <laughs> Not bad. And we'll get the we'll get worker worker here to take it back take it home for us. Then we can get the cake loaded up. This guy's been plugging away on our new field, so I just wanted to make sure that they were actually dumping the uh, dumping the grass in the right place here. So I figured I'd come and peek. Now we're back here to get the cake. <laughs> I did mention we're going to be jumping around a lot, right? How's it going so far? You guys hanging in there? There you go, it's a beautiful thing, just keep on going. Kind of eyeing up the fields now. Just need to get the uh just need to get the next chunk sold and then we can pick up the pick up the missing link and then you'll see You'll sort of see what I had an idea for for a field. All right, job done over here. This uh, this guy's still gonna get a bit of a workout. These, uh, it's funny, these Fent 900s with their uh, quad tires, I, I, I almost 
think that I might end up with a third one at some point. They're just like little brute work for it, work workers. The only thing that gets me though is the wheels are wide. So when you're trying to set up like a route or a, like a whatever you call it with the auto drive, um, I do tend to bang into things. So I do have I gotta kind of fix that. That's my own problem. But but uh, yeah, they've been great. Tons of traction and and they just pull everything. Front PTOs like. I don't really know what else he could want when you're when you're limited to the horsepower, right? Would a third one be too much? So now that we got uh, so the only thing I guess I'm not doing is rolling. Um, I mean, my process is lime seeds and fertilizer and then I go in with the sprayer and uh, and, and, you know, pre spray for weeds and it seems to be working really well. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The only thing that I'm not doing, though, which I guess I'm, I'm costing myself like a two percent yield, right? Is is I'm not uh, I'm not rolling. So I'm wondering if maybe I should start doing that. It just feels like so much. Like right now, it just seems like everything's so hectic. Like the amount of stuff that happens in this episode. But I mean, we're we're like I'm buying fields and I'm building and we're cutting fields and things like that. Where once things are running along, you know sort of business as usual now I'm just you know harvesting and feeding animals and maintaining and I'm no longer you know putting buildings in and things like that so maybe maybe um, once I get to that point then I can start uh, you know add rolling into the whole process there you go we're making cake by selling cake like two hundred thousand dollars there All right, uh, I'm not gonna, I won't put the entire process on here, but I'm, I'm recording the field. I wonder, so see how I'm mowing and I'm recording this this uh, route or whatever? Um, could that be partly why when I then go set my worker off, they're not, uh, like, so for example, the guy's gonna go around and mow, and then when I hit the forge wagon, for some reason the forge wagon's now, now not picking everything up um, and leaving that sort of section around the outside. I wonder if, I wonder if that's just by how I've recorded this field. I don't, I don't know what it is. But now you can see kind of what the what the space is. I, I like how it's bordered. It's literally bordered by the water and by the roads, and that's going to be our second big grass field. I was thinking that like this grass field here. Um, is going to be the one where I'll be making the hay from, and then the grass field on the other side is what I can continue making silage for uh, what eventually becomes like a BGA complex. Not a very big one, obviously. There's not a lot of real estate over there, but uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, if I take hay off this field here, that should be enough to feed 300 cows, in my guess. I don't really know what they need. And Worst case, we'll be, you know, multi-millionaires soon and we can always just keep buying property and mowing it <laughs> to, to get more grass if we really had to, I guess. Let's keep this building humming. All right, that job's done. So that should be a good field there. The sorghum, I guess we could feed the birds with it. I mean, I have, I think it's a big wheat field behind the silos there, so no worries there, but oh, this is fun. <laughs> so I need to get the cultivator so I can go make a field, but, uh, but my butt's too big. Can't fit my butt through the door. So we gotta go call in one of the smaller tractors to get the cultivator out there so that way we can go make a field. So we get the little dudes to pull the cultivator out and then uh, and then we can go to work. I don't even know why I put that in there to be honest with you. There is a time where I was looking at this cultivator thinking, oh God, I wish I had something a lot wider. But uh, the second I started using uh, workers to do all the work for me, 
didn't really matter. I have enough other stuff to do. It's like you just set the worker up, they can go do their thing, and I don't have to worry about the working with because they'll get the job done no matter what anyways. Yeah, see this when I... Oh, no, this is because... So I, th I think I, I set it to... Yeah, nearest waypoint instead of first waypoint. But then even that, so... Like, I mowed and made, made the field all the way to the edge, but when I set the worker up, he was leaving... Like, it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't cutting the field right to the edge, so... Some, something I've done anyways. Like, see this? I set the worker up. I've done nothing, like, to, to say, you know, work inside the field or something. And then, uh, and then they go, they go kind of indented like this and, and they leave that strip around the outside. So it's just making more work for me. But I mean, it's not like it's real work. It's, I'm literally just driving around circles, but, but it's not, uh, you know, that's not what, well, what I wanted. So we're gonna have our first sale of cheese here. <laughs> We've been producing cheese, obviously, and uh, and now this will be the first time we go and sell it. So we don't have a lot of cheese, but uh, we got we got enough. Well, that's right. Uh, stay tuned because later on we turn on a new uh, we turn on a new thing that we're gonna make. I don't know what do you call it. We're gonna start making something new. That's coming up. Sixty, sixty, sixty thousand dollars. God, I love this easy economy. <laughs> All right, uh, so these birds have been hard at work in here, and now uh, I don't think we're hurting in any of our productions right now for inputs, but uh, we are starting to make some eggs in here, so it was a good time to bust out the JCB. Uh, so this is actually a little telehandler. It's like a little forklift, but a telehandler. Um, and uh, anyways, I just think it's perfect for this building. Not just because it has flashing lights and I could customize not only the color, but I was able to customize it. This should be like a shiny plastic, but I changed it for like a galvanized metal. Um, so yeah, I think the, the, the way it looks is pretty cool. I picked this up used if I remember correctly, because I did not put those 31 hours on it. Actually, if you notice up in the top left there, the it's it's set to show the service needs of the implement, like the the forks, not the not the telehandler. I have to remember to check on that because I did buy it used. I wonder if it needs any servicing. But anyways, we're gonna put uh, so we'll put some eggs here into the bakery, and then uh, and then we'll grab some more eggs and we'll or the rest of them anyways, and we'll put that those into the the cookie factory. Um, you may wonder why, because up until now, we've only been making butter, which you just need to put milk into the cookie factory in order to make butter. Why would we need eggs in the cookie factory? Well, I guess it's kind of obvious, right? Notification that somebody's finished work there. Don't know who it is or what they were doing, but that's good news. All right, so we'll get that in there and then uh, pay attention. Let's turn on the sugar cookies. So we're, we're, uh, until um, until the, I believe it's on the hour, the uh, way I have it set to distribute all the, 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 the other necessarily, the other necessary items will start to distribute to the cookie factory, but uh, we got to turn it on and start it anyways. So the mower, uh, the mower is going back to its, uh, I, I set it to go back to its parking spot. Um, I just have like a few spots right next to the trailer there. So uh, when I'm done with something, I can just hit go to parking space one or two or whatever, and I'll just go back there. This guy's going to need some lime. If you remember, we're cutting a field across the river there, so we're going to go lime it up. Then things are going to get a little hectic over there because we're going to need to get seeds in there. Got to get lime in there, seeds, fertilizer. It's 6 o'clock already. Like, we started this day 4 or something, I think. Man, we just get so much done. I, I, I don't know. This is August. If I remember correctly, looking at the PDA, I don't think... August, September. I don't think it's September. in September we're ready to harvest yet, but I, I'm thinking October could be a hectic one for us because we may have a bunch of fields come due for harvest all at the same time. 
Probably could have planned it a little bit better, but anyways, I'm not complaining. And look who's back to get washed again. <laughs> the, the, the mower, the mower is disgusting. Those, the mowers look brand new at one point there when we had them washed, but they look so gross now. Any of you guys play power pressure washing or power washing uh, simulator? I've never played it, but actually I have no desire to play it, but I imagine it's probably similar to cleaning off your tractors. It's like brand new. I'll get this stuff put away and then we'll go on to the next thing. Man, I just can't believe how much footage I melted this down from. Crazy. Anyways, okay, so this guy's got some grass to go plant. So uh, we got to get some, as usual, we got to get some fertilizer. What else is new, right? I keep meaning to turn off. I see got that precision farming uh, sort of display up there. And then there's another display that pops up in the top right there i don't know what that's from i think it's from this this particular implement but uh i gotta i gotta remember to get those off of there just kind of clogs up the screen you know so we got the one guy there ready to hit uh the lime i didn't want to set him off obviously until we were done cutting the field so we're pretty much done cutting the field and then i'm just gonna take over and get some of these edges expanded a little bit where I thought they, that they were going to get done by the worker but obviously they didn't so which is almost better like I'd rather I'd rather the worker come up short and me have to go and just take care of the edges versus the worker overcompensating and taking out like half the road that would really suck we could fix it obviously but what a pain in the butt that would be it's just work we don't want to have to do you know go that's the last of it well yeah no that is the last of it so we're gonna try to get uh get these guys out at the same time i can't see it being a problem because the guy like before this guy even gets around once the guy's gonna be done with the lime i think but I couldn't see why we wouldn't do this. And then the funny thing is, check out what tractor we're using that we've already washed twice today. <laughs> now we're sending it out to Lima Field. Doesn't, uh, doesn't seem like I planned that too well. So I might have I might have been off a little bit. I think I said that this guy would be done, uh, done with the liming before the other guy even got around the field, but that's not the case. We're close, but uh, but I was off by a bit. I think you're going to see a lot of this wash bay. Oh, I was trying to be careful not to get the water into the lime. It doesn't, I know it doesn't really matter, but in the game, but I imagine in real life, you wouldn't want to soak water into a, into the lime. I kind of like that view with the, uh, with the moon hanging over the river or the lake or whatever that is. Looks pretty cool. So from almost, uh, from about 4.45 in the morning, now we're, what, 7.45? It's been a long 14-hour uh, in-game, in <laughs> whatever. I even, I even uh, I feel like if you notice, I've got the time set to sort of real time right now just so I can try to get this. I wanted to get all the grass off this field uh, before we finished up for the day. And so this is me in this one. I'm in this, uh, in this forage wagon. And then working on the same field right now is... Uh, uh, is, is it a, the other another tractor with a forge wagon and and basically I'm putting the grass over into the BGA and uh, the worker who's on this field with me is putting the grass into the new uh, the new grass dryer but man overall this has been a really satisfying day just a ton of work and I honestly We'll have to see, like, I, I, I kind of thought that, well, now we've gotten so far, I've learned some stuff and, you know, how much longer do I really want to go on this, uh, on this map? 
Um, you know, we've essentially now made it to the second or to the third in-game year. We're just starting it. Uh, so, you know, do I really... Oh, watch this fit. <laughs> that was a little sketchy. That trailer doesn't really pop up too well underneath that <laughs> underneath that overhang. But, yeah, so I sort of started to really question how long I want to go on the map, right? Um, I mean, I can just keep buying more fields and, you know, uh, whatever. I don't know. But I, I'll, I'll definitely go a little while longer. Um, there's a new challenge coming up. Uh, it was one that uh, Crustu posted. Um, and and I, so I took a good look at the map. I definitely wasn't thinking, oh, I want to go do another challenge. But uh, I kind of like I kind of like the sort of the prescribed work, uh, the prescribed game gameplay, I guess, requirements of a challenge. There's certain things that now you don't have to think about, and uh, and you can just go out and try to make the most of it. And I like. I like when other people are doing the same thing and you can kind of watch their progression and uh, like I've, I've watched as much as I possibly could of other people making stuff. Um, it's been kind of fun to just to, to sort of compare where I'm at and, and, and learn and everything. So I've just learned a ton about this game through this challenge. Uh, so uh, there's another challenge coming. Another So another challenge is, so if I start this other challenge in the sort of first 10 days of April, um, something's got to give. Uh, likely... Well, I, th I think I mentioned this in the Bally Springs, but I'll be putting Hinterland on mothballs for a while uh, so I can go and explore this new, uh, this sort of, these new challenges. Um, Bally Springs, uh, I just had, a, 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 I mean, the episode that came out, this, this, what you're seeing right now should be on Tuesday. Uh, so Monday would have been Bally Springs, and I, I had a lot of fun in that episode. And then the next episode after that actually is, is shaping up to be even more fun. So I, I'm, I think what I may be doing for a little while is Bally Springs once a week, this new challenge maybe twice per week, and then I may still do a Comlands uh, once per week. And then if I can get four videos out with the increase in volume of my work right now, um, I have a couple of major projects coming up, which are going to just absolutely kill me for time. Plus, uh, we're like three weekends away and the kids start racing. Um, our local track opens up this coming weekend. This is Easter weekend right now. I'm doing this, but uh, so tons of stuff on the go <laughs> coming up. And, and uh, so it's just going to it's going to impact the volume that I can put out in videos. But anyways, thanks so much for hanging out on this really, really busy day. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them now. And uh, yeah, like you guys always do, I really appreciate it. Anyways, thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you when we see you.